In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how you can remove wrinkles from a person's t-shirt inside Affinity Photo. Let's get started. Inside Affinity Photo, with our photo imported here, the first thing I'm going to do is select our background layer here and just hit Control or Command J just to make a duplicate of that layer so that we have a backup if we need it. So now from here, to fix this wrinkly shirt, we're going to use a process called Frequency Separation. So to do this, we're just going to come up and hit Filters, and then Frequency Separation. Now from here, we can zoom in, and basically the goal with this is we're going to move this slider here until we are just getting rid of the texture of the shirt on the right side here. So we're just going to move it over until we basically just don't see these threads anymore. Right around there. So right around 5 pixels for us. And from here, we can just hit Apply. And that will separate our layer into high and low frequencies, as you can see in our layers panel over here. Now most of the work we are going to be doing in here is going to be done in the low frequency or our color layer. But if you need to, you can always come into the high frequency to adjust the texture. And if you guys are interested, I have a video that goes a little bit more in depth into frequency separation. So if you're interested in learning more about it, you can check that out. Now we can use a mixture of different retouching tools to de-wrinkle this shirt. The ones that we're going to be using are the healing brush, the paint mixer brush, and the clone stamp. And we're just going to start out here by selecting our low frequency, and then we can come over and hit our healing brush tool. Or you can hit J on your keyboard. So now with this tool selected, we can zoom in here onto our person's shirt. And all you have to do with this is select a part of the shirt using Alt or Option that is not wrinkled. So for example, this part over here is not wrinkled at all. So we can select that right there. And then all we have to do is paint over parts of the shirt that are wrinkly. And you can see that will get rid of the wrinkles in the shirt. To show this a little bit better, I'm actually going to select both of our high frequency and low frequency layers and just hit Control G so that we group those layers. And I'll rename that to FS for frequency separation. And that way we can just see the before and after of everything that we're doing here. So I'm going to come back into that low frequency now and we can just keep going over our different wrinkles in our shirt here to get rid of them. A little tip with this is you always want to make sure you're selecting a part of the shirt that's pretty close to the area you're trying to fix because otherwise you might get some weird colors that don't really mix well together. And now with that you can see the before and after of everything we did there just on this little shoulder part. And now this tool works pretty well, but there is another tool that actually works a little bit better than this, and that is going to be the paint mixer brush over here. So now with this selected, I want you to come up and make sure you're working with a really low flow here, because otherwise the effect will be really strong. And with any of these tools, you can always use the bracket keys on your keyboard to adjust the size of your brush. So now just like with our healing brush, we can hold down alt or option and select a certain part of the shirt that doesn't have any wrinkles, and then we can paint over parts of the shirt that do have wrinkles. And now what this tool is actually doing is it's actually blending the colors together a little bit using the color that we have selected. So it works a little bit better in terms of this to actually blend the colors of wrinkles together. And as you can see, if your friend decided he wanted to spill a little bit of coffee on his shirt right before a photo shoot, you can actually get rid of those as well with this tool, which is pretty nice. So then you can just kind of keep going over everything. If you need to select a color again, you can always hold down Alter Option and select that. And you can start going over again. Then it's just a matter of going through all of the wrinkles on the shirt here and painting them away with this tool. So now you can see the before and the after of that tool as well. Now the last tool I'm going to show you that you can use with this is going to be the Clone Stamp tool. Now the thing I mostly use the Clone Stamp tool for is actually mostly going to be on texture layers. So as you can see, sometimes you get these wrinkles over here where you can actually see the texture of it is being shifted. So if you need to paint over the texture of that, you can go ahead and do that with a clone stamp tool to try and fix that as well. Just like that. So you can see the before and after of everything we did there. So now you can use a mixture of these tools to go ahead and paint out the rest of the wrinkles in your person's shirt. So now with that, I quickly went over each of the wrinkles on this person's shirt with each of the different tools here. I found for this one, most of the time the healing brush tool actually works the best for this case, but it might be different for your case. So be sure to try out these different tools and see which one works best for you. But you can see the before and the after of everything that we've done here. So now you guys can use this technique to perfectly iron out your shirts inside Affinity Photo. But that pretty much does it for this video. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Let me know if there's any tutorials you want to see in Affinity Photo down below. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.